The stage setup that we did for this tour has been the best since I've been back in corn. It puts us in this world that corn fans haven't seen before. It's just something you have to see and it's experience that you'll take away going, you know, that was an amazing show. Every night, the crowd's just in awe and they're wild. I know that they feel the heartbeat of corn. They feel it from us, we feel it for them. Seeing 15,000 fans out there every night at this stage of our career, I can't even express the gratitude. I see just all the way from these seats all the way up to the lawn, just packed with people. Because it goes up, people never end. And I'm just looking out there, and I still can't believe it's still happening. A lot, a lot of fans are showing up. It is a dream come true. I feel like I woke up and I won a lottery or something. It's like, this is too good to be true. I'm seeing people bring their kids. The guy's holding up the kid to catch the pick, you know? I love that. Production on this tour is something we've never done before. It's just really interactive, like stuff that moves. They're these giant plexiglass, what they look like mirrors, but they can become an LED screen, they become video screens, anything you want them to be. This is so insane, next level technology. It took months of developing with our lighting guy, Church, and also our front of house guy, Marco. It started actually with a little drawing in my notebook. We want people to walk into the experience at a corn show and feel like they're submerged in the artwork of the album. I wanted it to feel new and different. There's four pods over the top of us with video screens and all kinds of lights and there's big cubes behind us that move in and out. And everything's moving and morphing at the same time so it gives you this, this really cool effect. Three people on lighting, four people on video and we have 32 hands to build all of this in six hours to get it running, test it, and uh, get ready for a show. This is a very, very strong look to support the band on stage with their amazing performance they do every night. So when we perform this song, You'll Never Find Me, it's a, like a breath of fresh air because it represents a new era for the band. The lyrics just get me, man. He was such in grief. There's that little breakdown before the chorus where he's whispery. When I first heard that, look at all the hair on my arms stood up. We got what's called a, a watch. Ross Robinson coined that phrase. When he said, I'm lost, you'll never find me. It reminded me of all my life, who am I? On that song, Faggot, I felt that same thing, like, ooh. nuts but it's very emotional I always break down at the end sometimes I can't I deal I gotta just take a minute because shit still hurts 
It really does. I just went through a lot. We're starting to embrace the 25 years we've been around and there's kind of like a, a sense of accomplishment when we play that song. My whole career has been about me being real and sometimes I hate playing a fucking song. Other times it's just, I need to.